in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Present the ministry of Christ and his ministry while he walked on earth. Are we together now? And so most people still wait on Jesus to do what he has left the Holy Spirit to do for us. You have to listen to what I'm teaching you now. Are we together now? Jesus said it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying, come. Jesus was saying, he that told. I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away. But I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind. Heteros, where we get heterogeneous, means of another kind, another species. So another person is coming and he is no different from who I am in terms of ability, in terms of purpose, in terms of function. It says when he comes, he will continue my ministry. Everybody say continue my ministry. So the Holy Spirit today represents to the body of Christ what Jesus represented to the apostles. Are we together? Most people, Jesus help me. Jesus save me. I know that it looks emotional, but Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk. 
with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing do you know what how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience there is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness the waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end and you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark, void formless, scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the then civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life 
this is Jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent Jesus because he is not there physically you go to the Holy Spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting I'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the Holy Spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the Holy Spirit Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. how could you do ministry without the holy spirit what are you preaching sister how could you dare get married without the holy spirit what do you want to do in that marriage give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb brother why do you want to get married without him don't you know that marriage is a triangle he is the first person and then you and the wife are under you go two of you like a string you are in trouble when two of you are apart it is him that brings you back the holy spirit People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing but do you know him? Do you know him? He is the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You are brooding. Over all my darkness, you are causing lights to shine from dark. You see, listen, listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. We live in a society where nobody believes in you. Don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me. They deserve to not believe in you, but you ignore them and walk with the Holy Spirit. Give him time and watch the wonder he will produce. He met a young virgin called Mary and said, Mary, the angel came on his behalf. Just believe and watch what will happen. That you can be pregnant without a man. That it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And the Holy Spirit says, hold my hand. And he said, Lord, I can't even talk like Moses. Don't worry. Hold my hands. And he turns you into a sign and a wonder. And people say, is this not the lady we used to know? beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy 
I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about him. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. I remember in, two, in 2004, standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade, I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry. I don't think I'm as intelligent as people require for ministry. So I ran to him. Cover my shame. Cover my shame. I may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire. I didn't have the privilege that society demands, but cover my shame. Lord, I admit that I'm weak. And the Holy Spirit said, hold my hand. Let's go. Let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring. And they were saying, there's no food and there's no water. And then I said, who is the cause? And all of them were pointing to me. And said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water. And I said, Kai, I have to go out and rescue this generation. But I was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door i saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time i he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever When that was happening, you were not there. But you were in the loins of prophecy. Please, I, I, I don't know how to beg you. Don't ignore what the Holy Spirit can do in your life. This power and these miracles you see, is not just chasing around and saying, lay hands on me. God is not a fool. Walk with him. And watch him surprise you. Walk with him. I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smells you, even to the father's part, they said they shall call you. You won't call yourself. They shall call you ministers of our God. There will be an evidence of his hand upon your life. I remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman. Then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet. Confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was healed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. 
all these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You would die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding, brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking leave the issue of finances let me walk on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church, we teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to work on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you, and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself and you will be afraid. You say, Lord, is this what you planned? Look at a poor village girl like me. Look at a poor village boy like me. And he says, that's exactly what I want to do. To show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels. To show that I can take the weak things. Oh God, I'm a poor girl from Kaduna State somewhere. Lord, I'm an illiterate somewhere in the south. He says, don't worry. Hold my hands. Don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are over every darkness. You are causing, you are causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let not just because you are a leader, not just because you are a worker, settle down with the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around, turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact 
you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the holy spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction divine direction guidance guidance and direction guidance and direction let me show you something that i found while i was studying exodus chapter 23 and verse 22 powerful scripture exodus chapter 23 exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring ye into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are here to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way 
walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together 
most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle i saw you having an accident tomorrow i keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear god because the spirit of god will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is god i saw an accident but i am speaking by the power of god's word to stop it but i saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i have continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information i must balance this issue of the voice of god because satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture we are so passionate about the prophetic which is important but we must balance it especially for we who are men of god there is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent there are things i've seen about people i know that it's an attack from satan but i also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them it will destroy their faith so i withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them god sends the word your maturity guided how it was delivered say the voice of god Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is blinking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed 
it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry i remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together? Let me tell you one of the ways I prayed on this. It was in a, in a big, it wasn't like this. I literally opened it and I was confessing God's word and speaking and laying hands. You will think the oil cannot hear. I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing. This is ordinary oil. But when the anointing comes, the same word I'm speaking to you is the same word. Receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly. It's more than just oil touching your head. You will see what it will do in your life. hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and he started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power. Kabbalakotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. Just quoting scripture does not bring you result. The word must be anointed to profit you. 
how God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a sent one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter one and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargons he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i've made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now 
you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying no you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people have found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say he wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them and nothing shall by any means whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level I say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cost never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way, no way. Habba. 
there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encounter the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people i have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was right i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions 
What will this anointing do to you tonight? Or do for you tonight? Number one. This anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor. Write it down. You need to know what the anointing will do. Because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings. But what was spoken into the oil, you have to believe it. God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money. But not left for money alone. If you have money and you don't have men coming to your life, you don't have favor. Favor is known by the strange coming of men. To come and meet your need, not to come and inconvenience you. The second thing that this, this anointing, this impartation that is coming upon you, is a strange grace for multiplication. It's called the Mimshak anointing. Please believe it. There is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last born, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good, come. No, there is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence. I have seen how men of God have ignored this grace. And they have tried to bully men of God. They have tried to bully others. They have tried to usurp on young people. You are my son. You are my daughter by force. You are my this. Just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb. 
it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i, I don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalists and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah hey, Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher I'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and um, there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for lauren show like it or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you ba, it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir 
can come upon you. Number what now? The fourth anointing that I believe and I trust God, I trust God with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and not just signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders that through your own hands, the things that God will do to you will begin to surprise you. We just started the, the public relations department this year and I remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone. Now, these gentlemen love God and they are filled with the Holy Spirit. But probably they did not, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray. There is an anointing that can come on a rod, a rod, ordinary rod, and it will pass the Red Sea. There is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says, Sister, I hear you attend Koinonia. I cannot meet apostle, but I hear you attend Koinonia. And you say, what is it? He may be busy, but let me pray. He has prayed for us. That grace is working. Say, you? Say, let's just pray. And you say, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally, they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say, I came back from an impartation in Koinonia. And your father said, what, does, what good does that do to us? Go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there. Number one, they have said your mother is dying. Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches. And God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity. That will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of god and with all humility my passion for god and for the things of the spirit has been vetted by the body of christ and so when i teach about finances and i talk about this it's not in any way to promote carnality but I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 oh
trust the Lord that this mantle for wealth, this grace for wealth, if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper, I've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth. There is transactional wealth. Wealth that comes by selling your value. Whether your education, whether uh, an idea, whatever it is that you take. There is transformational wealth. Wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people. But the third dimension is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days, we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray. Please, I want you to be tired of where you are in life. Be tired of where your family is. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray shakata pata kata dabadata pata reto wata lata kata Shakata <laughs> Take me up, 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 take me up
Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, every cause, every, every yoke, every, every spell, every, spell. Every, enchantment every enchantment over my life, over my, life. Over my, family. Over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the that by the anointing it is broken forever. It is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Jesus, by the authority in the finished work of Christ, I declare to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe, every covenant, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers. Will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment. Please pray, pray. In Parabado, in Paragada, in the Democosa, in Toto Pete, in the Bagabado, in Rabado, in Palabado, in the Bagabado, in Tapalabada, Berica Toka Palagadea, in Topalate, in Parada, in Palabada, in Palabada, in Palabada, in Palabada, in Palabada, in Palabada, in Petita, Erika Patota, Ipam Patata, Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every fail, every fail that has covered my glory, that has covered my glory. Every fail, every fail that has hijacked my honor, that has hijacked my In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I tear that fail to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Covered your glory. He says, Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, 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 Hallelujah. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By, by the anointing rise to destiny rise lift to your destiny. voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny hear the word of the Lord Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ay, ay, ay. There's fire burning in this place. Listen. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access. Every access. That left my life. That left my life. By the anointing. By the anointing. I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. 
there's all kinds of fire on your mountain it's time for you to have a testimony open your mouth in one minute and tell the lord the things that must live your life every one of them Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of cgc fence overflow three is the main um the 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 space outside there overflow four is everything from the end of cgc's fence to wherever people are now and then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other streets there that's that's the overflow this is what we are going to do please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents we are going to pray don't, just leave them don't worry leave them there we're going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be, people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray please no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now 
just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we're coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, holy. holy, holy.
Shekete kata bata kata bata kato. Reka kapa kata bata teke teke kato. Shekete bata kato. New dimension. New levels. New dimension. First fruit victory. First fruit victory. Keep praying, don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka Parakoto Sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God, defying all the laws of men, defying the expectations of men, rising by the spirit, rising by the anointing, rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created bridging your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not 
don't doubt what you are doing this is how it works don't doubt what you are doing don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time no you are not the Lord will so surprise you Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I man. your name Jesus something happens when I mention your name hallelujah hold on I know that there are still especially for those of us in the overflows we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. Any point of contact. Your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself I want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are impotent as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry
that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1000 naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands direction that's what i hear god is giving men direction it's like an anointing it will come on you outside and inside direction and end to that confusion right now is coming like light but then you will hear him direct you direction 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 what is that area of confusion his light shines upon it right now for marriage direction 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 for where to settle down geographic location direction is coming by the holy ghost direction somebody is praying and say lord show me the lord is saying i am showing you it's coming upon your spirit i'm giving you direction on what to do direction hallelujah i'm seeing the names of people written on a paper and put under a stone and the lord is saying take it out lord where are those people whose destinies have been buried as i'm speaking right now inside and outside right now right now as i speak by the power of the holy spirit right now where you are sitting you will receive a visitation i pull it out this is a miracle service I pull it out now. Oh yes, release that lady. I see it in the spirit. Release that lady right now. Release that lady's destiny. is happening to you where you are something is happening to you where you are begin to receive it by faith like the dew of heaven resting in this place inside and outside Lord we receive what you are doing
Just sit down if you can. Those under the anointing, just leave them. John 3, 16. I just want to the Lord has just healed a lady of a breast lump you have a lump in your left breast check it right now check it right now check it and come out right now right now I don't know why God is just interrupting please check it check it check it right now in fact I see three people check it this is a family please we are not playing games inside and outside i'm seeing three ladies who came with like a lump on their breast check it right now that devil has gone back to hell please check it quickly and come out if they are under the anointing when they when they are all right let them come out very quickly let them come out quickly augustina augustina i'm hearing the name like Augustina Augustina if there's someone like that you can just make your way to the front quickly Augustina the Lord is judging evil in your family this is oppression this is what I'm seeing oppression as it's happening to you, there's somebody outside. This same anointing is touching the person outside. The second overflow, the anointing of the Spirit is touching somebody outside. The Lord is bringing judgment to wickedness. Because I'm seeing that this is something that has to do with witchcraft. It has tied your life and your family down. And the Lord is telling me, release Augustina. Release Augustina. Release Augustina. Release Augustina. And as it's happening to you, it's also happening to that other lady. In the name of Jesus, I release you right now. From every chain that has held you, be released. Your family be released. It's time for you to testify. I release both of you prophetically in the name of jesus christ every door the devil has tied let it be opened by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a whole family that came there is a family god wants me to minister to you are five five people I don't know if there is a mother I'm seeing a family with five people who came from somewhere and the Lord wants me to minister to them you are five in all you're five in all please when you identify them they can come up so that we will just minister to them very quickly hallelujah for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. And the Bible says. That he proved that love. By giving. His only begotten son. Please listen. Don't worry about what is happening. Just let me have your attention please. He says. He gave his only begotten son this we can take it from there that that statement he gave his only begotten son is the summation of the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ are we together now Please help her, wrap her. I command that spirit to leave her right now. 
now and never return in the name of Jesus release her family release I see a lot of money being tied release it now as you go in the name of Jesus the Christ So the Bible says he gave his only begotten son hallelujah for God so loved the world the word there is cosmos the social system that has to do with people listen please and has to do with the entire territory the social system he says for God so loved the world and he proved that love listen listen because love must be manifested to be appreciated are we together now and the bible says that he gave his only begotten son and please don't be confused there is a name that son is called jesus because there are many people who can preach to be the begotten of the father but the only begotten son who after his resurrection now became the first begotten right until the resurrection of man he was the only begotten please listen you see everything about this bible was pointing to this very revelation the revelation of jesus christ everything the book of revelation says the revelation of jesus christ not the revelation of a formula or a principle so the law the prophets abraham samson isaac judges everything was tracing to the genealogy of jesus christ and then the bible says that he manifested himself before people and he was full of grace and truth listen jesus came with a message and his message was very simple he said the word repent is not the word turn from your sins no preachers preach that as a result of lack of understanding the word repent is an indication of completely turning from a direction to another please just be patient with me this family or minister are we together now turning from one direction to the other but the first step to that turning is acknowledging a person his sacrifice and his government that's the first step and then you begin to walk in accordance to his principles only when you do that are you said to have repented many people have not repented they want to repent they think they have repented they hope they are repenting the first message that was preached after the resurrection of Christ he said men and brethren what shall we do and this is what the apostle said repent for the remission of your sins so the Bible says he gave his only begotten son you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me he suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all of my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today in heaven if you know it just sing it with me i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one that for me gave your life.
So he gave like you give your ATM for someone to use and withdraw money. He gave, he donated. And Jesus came upon the earth and he began to do many great things. Listen, Jesus did not just come, please, I want you to pay attention. It's going to be very brief and we'll begin to pray. Jesus did not just come to show us how God looked alone. He came to show us how we should look. So when he walked upon the earth, he was the prototype of God's idea of the man he had created. He was invincible, the Bible records. Above situations, above circumstance, with unlimited power, yet a man of extreme self-control. He knew when to speak and he knew when to keep quiet. There would be so many sick people like the 10 lepers. He would heal one and just walk away because his desire was not to show power. His desire was to do the will of the father. He was more interested in bringing satisfaction to his father than building a ministry. People tried to say, look, build a ministry. And he said, no, 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 no. no. I can of my own do nothing as I see my father do. So he came to show us the prototype of the true Christian life. A life that is completely yielded to the will of the father. Void of self-ambition. Void of a desire for vain glory and personal gratification outside of Christ. A life that is crucified with Christ. Are we together now? And then the Bible begins to describe to us that which happened today many years ago. We know it as the passion of the Christ. It started from the communion where they came into him by covenant so that they would authorize him. John chapter 6 says, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you cannot be part of me. You cannot have my life. So while they were taking the communion, they were giving him access to carry the sin of man upon himself. And then the Bible says he went to Gethsemane and there he cried. He prayed until tears were like drops of blood. Afterwards, he was ready to be crucified. And brothers and sisters, I know that we celebrate Easter. Today is Good Friday. Pain is what made today good. Are we together? Sacrifice is what made today good. If he refused to lay down his life. Listen, when Pilate looked at him and said, don't you know I have the power to free you? He said, ah, 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 ah. He said no man has this power. Except it is given unto him by my father. He said, I have the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up again. In other words, I was not coerced. My love for you made me to sacrifice my life, my reputation and everything. We talk a lot about Good Friday, but we never know what made it good. This is what made it good. That a man gave his son, then the son gave his life. Are we together now? It's one thing to give your child. It's another thing for the child to agree. He can refuse. Jesus had the right to refuse. In fact, he was tempted to negotiate it. He said, Father, if it be possible, you are the all wise God. There is another way you can do this thing. But then he remembered, nevertheless. I told you the hallmark of sonship is servanthood. The true proof that you are a son is that you can give up sonship to become a servant. Are we together now? The father gave Jesus. Jesus gave his life. And don't be confused. He gave his blood he gave his righteousness. Are we together now? He gave up his position. And when he was doing that, he had you in mind. Listen. Listen. He never went to the cross because of anything he did of himself. The Bible says he was a man touched with the feelings of our infirmity, yet without sin. But he took your place 
because the Bible says we all like sheep have gone astray. Right? He said every man has gone his own way. With our ideas about God. Our ideas about success. Would you give our mother a chair please? Let her just sit down. I will minister to you in a moment please. At least let her just sit down. Hallelujah. Well all of you, you can sit down. I will call you now. They are all looking at me. Um, sit down. Especially this my friend. Friend, how are you? What's his name? Aaron. Kelvin. Just get somewhere for they can sit around and I will attend to you now. Just five minutes. Let me establish what. Hallelujah. So, please come, sir. I offend a government and they are about to destroy me. Listen, please. About to destroy me. And the Bible testifies that I have no power in myself. And then someone comes. And while I'm on my way to destruction, he interrupts. And he says, I love you too much to let you keep gambling and trying your way. This is what I want you to do. Stand back and watch me pay the price. And while he was on the way, while they were flogging him, in his mind he was saying, mankind, I hope you are watching. This would have been you. I hope you are watching. I hope you are watching the scars. As he began to bleed, he said, I hope you are watching. See, if two people come and they tell you they love you, the best answer to give those two people is, I'm watching. Because love is a verb. Are we together now? I am what? All kinds of things have told you they love you, but they left you. But Jesus said, watch my love. I'm not going to make noise about it. First, stand back. And while they flogged him, he said, if it's for you, I will still go the extra mile. And they flogged him. The father gave him, he gave his health. The father gave him, he gave his prosperity. The father gave him, when we say his life, Let's break it down. What, what is in his life that he gave? Because that's what he gave you. What was in the life of Jesus? The ability to reign and rise above sickness and diseases. The father gave him. He gave it away. In exchange. The Bible says he was rich. But he gave it. Are we together now? He had a reputation of dominion. But he laid it aside. I hope you know that they stripped him naked. The covering you see around is just for social reasons when you are watching movies. A 33 year old man. Naked. Children watched him. Adults watched him. People mocked at him. And said you claim to be a king. And he said this is all for you. Are we together? Blood dripping out from every part of his body. Every time he was tempted to give up, he said, no, if I give up, where I stop is where you must continue. And I know that even if it was for the last nail, you still would not be able to take it. See, listen, if you think what happened on the cross is what Jesus just died for, physically, you will be deceived because there are human beings who have been crucified. What he stopped you from was not the physical activity. It was what was happening in the spirit. You can do the physical one. I guarantee you people have been crucified. But you don't know what that meant. In the spirit. A lot was interplaying in the spirit. While that was happening. He became Adam. From Gethsemane. From Gethsemane to the cross. He was no longer the Christ. He was Jesus. Adam. The very man of sin. Mortality came upon him. Please listen. And the father kept watching. He had given him. And he knew that it is more blessed to give. Than to receive. So there was no negotiation about receiving. The blessing was that he would bring many sons into glory. Are we together now? When they took him to that cross. And they nailed him. As his blood began to drip upon the earth. And in that excruciating pain 
It was a way of torturing criminals. He was not just looking at Mary and John. He was looking at you. He was looking at me. He was looking at every witchcraft in our family and every ordinance of darkness. And he said, if it's for you, I will do it. But he made a very interesting statement we are going to establish tonight. Three words that represented victory. It is finished. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't study English. But I know that when a man says, it is finished. It is finished. Is a reality that is present and continuous forever. Not it was finished. You would have said the condition for it finishing has changed. So we have to start another one. It is finished. The question is, what is the it that has been finished? First, that inability to access the Father. We call it lack of righteousness. He said that error is finished. That, 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 that Christianity that has to do with ceremonial cleansings, having to atone for your sins by your own strength, have brought it to an end. That ability of saying qualify and come to God. He said it is finished. You now will come through my own invitation. My own access. Like I organize a program. And I invite someone. And while you are about to drive him. I say no, no, no. That's my guest. Come. But you are not only his guest. He also made you the one to be celebrated. Please listen. There is a dimension of this we have not learned. And this is what I want to teach us. When Jesus went to hell and met Satan, a discussion transpired. And Satan said, remember Adam. And he said, I don't remember Adam. I am him. Don't you see? This is Adam. And Satan knew it was true. Because only Adam had the right to collect the key. No other man could collect the key. And so he went as the second Adam. And said, you killed Adam. And every man that came from him, let me have the keys. Revelations 1 verse 1, when you read down what? I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He collected the keys. Listen. Access to the earth, access to dominion, access to God's life. That's the most important part. The life of God. I'm going to explain it. When he resurrected, watch this. Did you know that if he just started walking and doing all of the things he did, man would not be able to partake of it because he had not ascended to heaven. It would just be that he was victorious. And then the Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews, that he went to heaven as the high priest, the lamb, the sacrifice, as everything. And then he took his blood, poured it upon that tabernacle, and said, Father, you are just for seeing that man does not have access to divine health and all of this because you are a just God. Your throne is founded upon righteousness and justice. The Bible says they are the foundations, meaning there's no negotiation that will bend it. But now he says, every time you think justice, let mercy begin to speak. Watch this. I really want you to get a revelation of this. It will change your life. Every time the voice of judgment, the voice of mess of, of, of justice begins to speak, I will not fight it. But remember that I not only paid the price, I paid the price for everybody who will be an offender on this path. Are we together now? When that happened, a coronation happened in heaven we see that coronation the psalmist gave us a revelation and from philippians chapter 2 the bible says a name an office an identity was given to him in heaven to sit upon that throne are we together now 
and the bible says anything that has to do with man's redemption man's vindication must pass through him meaning a man is only condemned when he condemns that man a man is only justified when he justified the father put it in his office are we together watch what he did when he sat down on that throne he told man there is another dimension you do not know i know that i paid the price for you but i want to teach you another dimension we paid it in covenant listen you did not participate in anything but out of my love i took you and made it as though in me you were the one who paid that price so not only did he die for you you died in him are we together now so in christ every man's iniquity every man's um basis for accusation was nailed in christ paul saw this in galatians 2 20 and he said i have been crucified with christ nevertheless he said i live yet not i but christ is an exchange he died for me now i live in him in other words the day jesus christ dies there is no reason why i should be alive because we're in him so my life is no longer something i get outside of him my life is an overflow of what i have received from him and he so designed that from that point hence listen everything i derive will be because of him in him and with him my joy is because of him my prosperity is because of him please listen my peace is because of him so at no point in this kingdom would i be found leaning on my own strength because the moment i lean on my own strength the judgment of the law catches up with me the only basis for vindication is to be in him this is what he said he says he that abides in me and i abide in him he said the same will bear much fruit he said for without me the word without means outside of me and everything that i have done ye can do nothing the basis of the believer's victory is what christ did on the cross but not just what christ did on the cross because that's what a lot of people say oh i know what he did no let's continue john 3 verse 16 please give it to us so that we can finish up it's not enough to know what jesus did that's not where i'm going tonight this is the part that concerns you that whosoever believes believes what no 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 it didn't say that whosoever believes anything there is a specific thing you have to believe to have life you can believe jesus is a prophet it never gives life you can believe jesus is a healer it doesn't give life are we together he says believe in him who is the him who is the him no you see you see where we miss it we have been believing in rubbish who is the him who he said god no believing in god doesn't give you life Who is the him? That's where I want us to get to tonight. You, you see that our confusion is the reason why we cannot manifest the reality of God's life. We believe, but what do you believe? Are we together? You can believe the shepherd. Believe me, you will not be saved. Believing in the shepherd does not bring salvation. Are we together? Believe in him. Who is him?
the Bible, I love the way the Bible puts it. As many as believed in him. See that. Brothers and sisters, I am many things. And all of those dimensions can give you different operations of me. Are we together? A child believes a father. A worker believes a CEO. A Jimmy's daughter believes in her father. She doesn't believe in a CEO. We believe in a Jimmy Adegbeye. The multi-millionaire. That's what you believe. You will never get fatherly love from that dimension. Are we together now? You may get financial advice. You may get intelligence. You may get all of this. I believe in Professor Femi. You will get the intellectual dimension. There is a dimension of God you must believe to have life. Many of us have believed him as a healer. You can be healed and still go to hell. Please hear me. Many of us have believed him as a savior. You can have, I mean, you can have a, what do we call it, a, as a shepherd. What dimension of him have you believed? I will tell you now. Ready? There is a dimension of him you must believe to be saved. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What is Lord? The word Lord means a conqueror. Are we together now? Listen, please. It's not just a savior like the one who died. He didn't resurrect as a savior. He died as a savior. He did not resurrect as a savior. He resurrected as Lord, a winner, a champion, one qualified to transfer what he has. And the Bible says, whoever believes that, listen, whoever believes in him, that name that was given, he said he shall not perish. The word perish is not the word go to hell. Are we together? Because the Bible says, whoever does not believe is already condemned. Shall not perish. Here it is. But have money, but have the word everlasting is a wrong interpretation. Everybody has everlasting life. Everlasting life is life that does not end. Your, your life does not end. You only change location to continue the living. That's why we never say, Will you spend eternity? You must spend it. The question is, Where are we together now? Thank you. Don't mind this, my funny friend. Where will you spend eternity? Not will you spend. You must spend it. The word eternal life there is the word divine life. It's the Greek word zoe. I know you've heard it. Many of us quote it, but just listen. The word zoe, listen. Let me describe it for you. It's a life that does not want, depend on any external impute for its sustenance. It's a life that has the capacity to reproduce anything it needs within itself. Are we together now? Like you do not have to source for anything. Within that system is self-sufficiency. Within that system is the ability to be any and everything. That life can become health. That life can become victory. That life can become wisdom. So when the Bible says we have life, it doesn't mean we just have a new way of breathing in and out. No, something came upon you that all of a sudden translates you. Please, I want you to believe this. The Bible says the focus in the whole story is the believing part. Whoever believes in him, the Lord, who was a savior, became a conqueror, now sits as a king the father gave the son the son gave his life your job is to receive that life when you receive that life in reality the bible says certain things will begin to change you see the life is a programming the moment it enters you it deconstructs itself to different dimensions please listen the life of god is not just a vague thing that comes upon no 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 it is the life 
that begins to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom. It is the life you have received that begins to immune you from the activities of darkness. Many people have not received this life. They want healing, but they have rejected the life of God. Many people have come out for altar call. Father, I, I, I'm, I'm born again. I believe in you, this and that, but they have not received it. He said, as many as received. Brothers and sisters, you can reject it. Many seated here have rejected it. I give you my ATM card. You refuse to collect it. You can reject it. Yet you need what only my ATM card will give you. You can borrow money from Pastor Lawrence, borrow money from uh, a Promise and so on and so forth. And I say, take my ATM card. The point is, you don't just take it and hold it. When you take the card, something will make you turn behind and begin to read and follow. You see, the life of God is not, how do I put it now? It's not like something you just put in your pocket. All right, look at this. I have this handkerchief. So we say, I have the life of God. Do you have it? Yes, no. That's not the idea of the life of God. The idea of the life of God is like a programming. Something enters you and begins to walk in you. It is God who is at work in us to will and to do. So it's working. The moment the life enters you, it's like a genetic mutation. It starts altering your configuration. Are we together now? And the Holy Spirit is the custodian of that life. When he comes... He begins to open you up to the realities of the kingdom. All of a sudden, listen, because of that life, you are now spiritually alive. You can have the sensitivity to know that life was not supposed to be like this. Why am I always failing? You will never just know that ordinarily. It takes that life to open that awareness in you. Are we together now? It's like glasses. You all of a sudden start seeing life from another perspective. No. I'm not supposed to fail like this. I can't, I can't just be taking it like that again. Something must change. No, I've seen a trend in my family. People don't get married till they are 45. I'm noticing that something in my external environment is fighting the reality of that life. And the Bible says, he who has the son has eternal life. Zoe. God's kind of life. Now watch this. Although you have that life, it takes the ministry of the Holy Spirit, please listen, to open you up to the operation of that life so that you can receive the fullness of the benefits of that life. This is where a lot of people miss it. Oh, I have life. I have life. The same way you say, I have a car. The same way you say, I have an ATM card. Can you use it? I have given it to you. Do you know how to activate the operation of that life? Do you know how to make that life work in you? We have been taught that it works automatically. No, sir. No, sir. You can claim to have the life and still die of sickness. Now, this is where Satan's ministry comes. The thief comment not. But to steal, to kill. If you don't have anything, he doesn't come to steal. Are we together now? Satan comes. His first ministry is deception. What is deception? Painting an untrue picture and convincing you to believe it. So you believe that I do not have this life. If I truly had this life, I should not be sick. Are we together now? If I have this life, I should be doing exploits academically. If I have this life, now listen. Here is where the confusion has come in the body of Christ. There are those who are saying you have this life. There are those who are saying you don't have this life. You better fight your way into receiving it. Both of them are incomplete. On one side, you are seeing the supposed by faith. You believe, you know, you acknowledge that that life is in you. But then you are not seeing the difference the Bible said should be produced. Are we together now? This is the dilemma of many Christians. I gave my life to Christ from the day I got born again. My life has not changed. It's been 10 years. I will tell you why. Eternal life is being frustrated within you. 
because you have not been taught how to release and activate the operation of the content of that life it's like buying a phone you admire it you look at it but you do not know how to work with it that was the lamentation of the psalmist in psalm 82 from verse 5 he says they know not not they have not they know not neither will they understand he said they grow in darkness and so the foundations of the earth are out of course the next verse says, have I not said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. He says, but you shall what? Die like men, men. Listen, please listen. An heir, as long as he is a child, does what? The Bible starts by calling him what? An heir, a partaker of an inheritance, a partaker of a reality. But it says, as long as he's a child, the word child here is devoid of strategy, devoid of the ability to understand the operation of that process. He said, he differed not from a slave. I can receive the life of God that contains health, vitality, prosperity, and still be under a cause. I tell you, hear me, brothers and sisters. Because we misunderstand the prophetic dimension of God's word. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. But we do not know that the communications of God are twofold. There is the prophetic communication of God. Speakings according to his realm of existence. But there is the experiential manifestation of that prophetic word. It is the nature of God to call things as though they already appeared. Are we together now? Hebrews chapter 2, he put it very beautifully. He said God had put all things under the subjection of man. He said God did not leave anything left. But he said, as it is now, we do not yet see all things. Are we together now? So, you have come to answer the altar call. The life is in you. But you went back and the exact same thing you know happens when a man is under a curse is happening to you now you went to a pastor and said pastor you said if i'm born again this thing will leave but you the person said yes is it not in your bible we all read it together now you are born again brothers and sisters but the truth is if you will be sincere you are still seeing those traces as if nothing happened to you so it puts believers in a dilemma there are those who are saying keep believing that is gone one day it will go hey wonder shall never end if you have that kind of ideology you are in for trouble and then on the other hand there are those who act as though they really have nothing so they are trying they live per day we survive today let's see how the war of tomorrow will be i know that there will be all kinds of things are we together now so although they read that there is victory in Christ. The truth is they don't believe it. They just know less fight per day. They are the ones who suspect everybody and everything. If Sam looks at you like this is a sign that he's an enemy. So they live their life with the consciousness of an aberrated perspective of warfare. And by warfare, they mean a consistent, never-ending contention. Both. Are we together? This is prophecy. But there is a place for the manifestation of prophecy. Jesus Christ has done everything he needs to do. But I have a role to play. Nobody gets saved just because Jesus died. You will go to hell. There is a response. Please listen. The idea of grace does not mean not participating. No. No. The idea of not participating in a process to call it grace is an aberration. Are we together? Uh-huh. The difference between grace and the law is what kind of participation. There is a participation that is unto the flesh. There is a participation that is a response of faith. That is the participation that brings results. 
Are we together now? So if the Bible says, by tithing, you open your heavens. When I'm tithing, I'm not acting under the law. I'm not trying to do something. I am responding. There is a difference between doing something to gain righteousness. But in any case, there must be reception by faith. And that in itself is a participation. This looks very simple, but it's at the foundation of the lack of results and the miracles that many people are, are not receiving. I don't want us to waste this night and just get up and see people fall under the anointing and celebrate miracles and go back. I want you to live victorious. If all you think is healing, you will be frustrated. If all you think is on my own, think God's life and all its content, Zoe, the life of God, that can become any and everything, any and everything. Christ has been made unto me through his life wisdom. He's been made unto me strength. He's been made unto me prosperity. That life is the word. And as the word opens up, it shows me the dimensions of its operation. And then I look out first to believe. Number two, to respond. Everybody say believe. Say respond. This is your part as a believer. You, when you respond to what you do not believe, is a waste of time. So the Bible says, whoever believes in him, you receive. But that life begins to teach you certain things. And you respond to those teachings. Please listen to me. Part of what that life teaches you is that Satan is a trickster. He's a deceptive person. And he will not, just because you have life, leave you. The Bible says he left Jesus for a season. The next time he would come, he didn't come directly again. He came through Peter. And Jesus said, I still detect you. And the devil says, do not, I mean, God said, do not be unaware, speaking through the apostle, of the devil's strategy. Are we listening to me, please? Because many people get up bragging. I'm not under any curse. I'm not under this. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord. That's not a lie. But you have not learned how to participate in response to make that an experiential reality. So you will still brag around and die like mere men. Are we together now? I really believe in Jesus Christ. And I really believe in his word. But I also believe in the principles that the revelation of his life releases. And my obsession is to always find out where is my part in this. Brothers and sisters, there is a part. There is a part that you have to play. Believing is not enough. Believing talks of conviction, persuasion about the truth of a person or a statement. But there must be a response. Your response is your action of faith. So the Bible says this in the book of Hebrews. There remained a rest, a Sabbath for the people of God. In spite of what Christ has done, there still remains a rest. And then it says, let us therefore labor. This is Paul in the New Testament. What is the idea of labor? Push God aside. No. Let us find out our place of response. Let us therefore understand the operations of the kingdom. So that we will know where our place of alignment is. And he says whoever labors like that. There is a guarantee. He will enter his rest. There is a way you will align. That sickness will run away from your body. Believe me, it's not just by claiming. Um, you will claim and be shocked. There is a way you respond. Remember during our time of fasting, we're showing you different mysteries. These are all the components that are called the life of God. Right? He gave you life. 
but it takes faith and it takes an operation of the spirit so satan has kept many people bound for two main reasons one they have rejected the life and the solution to that is an altar call i'm going to do that shortly before we start ministering the second is he has kept people in delusion and ignorance never trivialize the role of deception in a man's destruction deception the first deception is that you don't need to do anything again oh brothers and sisters hear me i fear god it's a big deception as free as salvation claims to be if you do not respond you are going to hell there is always a participation that's what we call koinonia everybody say participation if you will ever enjoy the healing dimension of god's life there is a participation if there will ever be prosperity there is a participation now the participation is a response of faith god credits it at the response of faith not an addition to what he has done it's a compliment so he would see a sick body and say your faith you believed i am able to heal you you were convinced based on the report you had and now i gave you an instruction waiting for your participation you got up your faith he calls it your faith so what is your faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of god's word believing is not faith no 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 believing is the first step to faith you can believe without having faith a believer is not a possessor a believer who responds is a possessor there are so many people listen to me who are trusting god for all kinds of things here i'm teaching you how to get results tonight god is not a herbalist there is a participation a jimmy this is a gift for you what is he supposed to do watch this his response now he's standing up is a sign that he believes me i can choose to hide it please sit down sir sorry i'm using you hope i'm sorry i'm just doing this game with your husband hallelujah hey jimmy do you believe i'm having a phone and that phone is for you if you believe it walk up to me faith this is faith the walking to me although he has not seen it so he's putting my integrity to the line it's up to me to prove that i'm not lying so i bring it out if he comes to me listen if he comes to me and i say ah i'm playing he believed i'm the one who is a liar and the bible said god look for anybody who is greater than him so that he will show you he's not playing games are we together now let's look at one scripture thank you sir romans chapter 8 please romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 35 romans 8 35 just that one scripture and then we'll take an altar call and begin to minister romans chapter 8 35 okay give us from verse uh, 32 32 thank you everyone please read if you are a christian if you are a child of god this is good friday well even if you are not a child of god read i will soon make an altar call one to read he that spared not stop who is the he now god is trying to make a statement and is tying the certainty of that statement to something he had done before it's like saying he that built this bridge in kaduna and built it excellently is about to build something so in case you doubt what i'm about to do find out whether i did that thing or not he's about to make a statement and he's saying don't you dare doubt me for what i'm about to say he that did not spare his what own son but delivered him up for who what's the next statement how shall he not with him also freely give us what 
this is God speaking. He said, look at me. Your healing is a lesser thing. I gave Jesus. What is healing? I gave Jesus. What is witchcraft? If I did not, if I spared my son, then you will know that there are some things I can spare. But I carried my son. I gave him. And now I have gathered you to give you healing. And you are asking God, this my, this I've been bleeding for six months non-stop. And God said, if I spared not Jesus, I will not spare anything. Whatever it would take me to prove myself, I will do it. If it means me killing somebody, I will do it. I, I gave my son, who will I not be able to kill? Listen, this is the basis for conviction. So every time the devil is trying to say, look, 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 look. Will that prophecy work? Just remember Jesus. Jesus begged the father to have mercy. The father refused. So listen, Jesus said, father, reconsider. The father said, you are joking. Stay there. And now God is saying, I want to bless you. And the devil is saying, no. And Jesus is saying, God is saying, just believe me. And watch how I will do anything it takes. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Hallelujah. If the father did not give Jesus, it's like a man. Listen, it's like a man who vowed to punish every offender and he saw his wife. And the guy said, I'm a just person. And he punished his wife. Then somebody throws a and says, Oh, God, you know, we are Nigerians. What do you think he's going to do? You say, That's my wife inside the gutter. I'm a military man. This is my wife. I paid the price for six months to get a yes from her. She's in that gutter. I don't know the consequence of my action. If you think I'm going to forgive you, listen, if it took God refusing. To even give Jesus a chance for negotiation for your sake then I assure you whatever else it is that is holding you must leave you this night yeah. hallelujah do you believe me we are going to pray and say Lord help my own belief that listen 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 that spirit that makes me keep wondering can God do it listen don't, don't make that foolish statement tonight. I, I was praying on the, tonight, before I came here, I was praying on the invitation card for my neighbor's wedding. If you know the story behind that dear woman, she shared it here, all kinds of things. When I met her, the devil was almost destroying her life. Had fibroid that was almost big like the size of a baby. She shared her testimony here supernaturally that devil of fibroid came out the way a woman gives birth it came out like that without surgery and people were saying ah can you marry time has gone time has gone nonsense i prayed for the card and to the shame of the devil we are dancing to the heavens on the 6th of may <laughs> hallelujah brothers and sisters your limitation is self-imposed. Satan is a deceiver. He comes to you and says, but can they really hear your voice? We are going to pray. The only prayer I want you to pray tonight is to challenge unbelief and say, Lord, I lift my faith. I'm ready to respond based on my conviction. Lift your voice and begin to pray. have a part to play I 
I lift up that wall of unbelief. Please pray, pray. You are able. Are you praying? sense the anointing of the spirit i'd like you to mention everything that must live tonight listen please just follow these instructions i told you your response is where your faith is there are things that should go don't just keep quiet and watch them the bible says speak to the mountain open your mouth and begin to mention them don't keep quiet Mountain of financial hardship, mountain of cancer, mountain of mediocrity. Oh, you must go, you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Say after me tonight. In the name of Jesus. The faith of God is at work in me. I have the faith to receive. I have the faith to believe. I have the faith to respond please listen do you know what happened in Acts chapter 4 don't turn there the Bible says they went to a gate called beautiful please let me sit down sir watch this it says they saw a man who had been there and he he, he called on them for arms and he thought they were going to give him arms Peter and John and he, he said silver and gold have i none he said but such as i have listen listen i give unto you what did he have he said in the name of jesus rise up and walk the man was there sit down he was nothing happened why response did he believe peter yes did he get a miracle no why he, he could not respond and the bible says when peter saw him he said who taught you faith he held his hand and said respond 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 and the bible says peter held his hand and he leaping stood the power of god is released at the point of response not before never before at the point of response when i began to minister here the lord was speaking to my spirit who gave me a guarantee that the power of god will move but as i began to speak I put pressure. It's left for him now to defend whether he really spoke to me or not. God will not just get up and act. Listen. It was God that put this miracle service. You're leaving your house to come is enough response already. Are you listening to me? You're going to say, Lord, I put pressure on your integrity. You asked us to come. We have come. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be afraid of saying it. Pray. Lord, you ask us to come. You are the one who anointed this meeting. 
to be a miracle service now oh god we are here put pressure on his integrity we have come oh god that you prove yourself Shake it up, Baba Baba Rada Baba Baba. Shake it up, Raska Daba Lada Bas. We have come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now keep standing, everybody. Before we continue, there are people here. I don't want you to waste your time, and I don't want to waste your time. There are people here inside and outside in all the overflows outside you are yet to make this decision the bible says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life he said and that life is in his son he says he who has the son has that life please we're out of time we have very few minutes and there is a lot to do now wherever you are you are saying man of god i have heard your word i have been struggling with this thing but tonight, I truly want to dedicate everything, my all to Jesus Christ. Or you are saying, man of God, I have come out for an altar call before. But for some reason, honestly, the pressures of life have pushed me. And I need to make my way straight with the Lord. I'm tired of where I am. Those two categories of people, inside and outside. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come out here right now. God bless you. Quickly, please, I'll count just one to five. If the Holy Ghost is speaking to you, don't sit down thinking about it. Make your way very quickly. One. Two. Run, run like there's fire on the mountain. Especially those outside. Please, you need to run. Run to Jesus. As you stand here, please keep talking to him. Don't just stand looking at me. God bless you. Run to Jesus. Oh, win that war. Win that war tonight. This is an issue of your destiny. Koinonia, can you appreciate them? This is a harvest for the King of Glory. You are saying, Lord, I'm tired of living my life my own way, mismanaging my life. On this Easter Friday, I give everything to you. Keep coming you are saying lord easter friday you died for god so loved me he died for me i'm tired of living a life that is not worthy of my calling there are still people outside please run and catch up quickly quickly as the holy ghost is speaking to you and say join them make your way quickly you're saying lord i'm tired tired of habits tired of addictions run to the cross Come running, come running, come running to the mercy seat. Keep coming. All of you in front in one minute i'd like you to talk to jesus christ please no smiling and pitching one another this is a serious issue please pray open your mouth by yourself and say lord i i come to you genuinely the lord is ministering to me that there are three ladies outside who should join them you wanted to go and one of your friends stopped you please friend be careful don't stand against anybody's salvation this night make your way to the front please and join them i'm seeing three ladies outside that the lord is calling one of you your friend was trying to stop you the devil is a liar please make your way to the front and then there are two others god is speaking to join them quickly before we start praying those of you in front here talk to your maker no man condemns you the blood declares mercy said no help me i'm not gonna let you go i'm not gonna let you sleep away No man condemns you. The mercy, the 
mercy. at me all of you in front some of you are crying i don't care what you have done this one decision remember jesus every time the devil tries to condemn you are you not the drunkard tell him the drunkard is that guy on the cross something is about to happen to you right now oh yes oh you slept with somebody before coming here you say well i don't know what you are talking about but i've been crucified with christ he looked at the woman he said where are thine accusers he said neither do i condemn you go and say no more lift your right hand and experience the power of the blood the power of mercy you just sing there is a fountain filled with blood very softly as i pray for them hallelujah listen brothers and sisters jesus can change your life don't stand here just making an emotional decision to go back there is power in the blood of jesus say after me lord jesus from the depth of your heart say it again lord jesus i believe in you and this night i surrender everything my life my dreams my hopes my ambitions i surrender it to you i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i'm no longer a sinner i've been crucified with christ and i have his life right now jesus has paid the price i receive his life and i declare that i'm a new creation the old has gone i begin a new journey satan you no longer have any accusation against me i pray for you keep your hands lifted father on this good friday we present these souls as trophies to you this is a response to what jesus did oh receive these souls koinonia present these souls as trophies of victory trophies of victory this is the sacrifice the rewards of the sacrifice hallelujah i pray for you i declare that your sins are forgiven and the power of sin over your life is broken forever every guilt the devil uses i don't care what it is tonight the same way you wash a dirty cloth in fact the way you bring a new one that's how the pages of your life is he gives you a new beginning in the name of jesus christ hallelujah a big congratulations to you in the name of jesus now listen i want you to do this real fast so you join us i'm about to minister to people now and we're going to be very very fast hallelujah i like you to follow the gentleman there are people all around they will lead you outside we want your information please you are born again now christians don't tell lies make sure that you write your number you write your name just follow the instructions no fighting be patient until it gets to your turn. They'll have your information and you quickly come back and join us in the service. Please do that as fast as possible so that um, you can participate fully in what is happening. God bless you. Every other person begin to pray in the spirit. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray in the spirit. And say, Lord, my time for visitation is here. I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up, Lord. I won't give up. I'll keep holding on 
Until my change comes Lord I won't give up Lord I won't give up I'll keep holding on Till my answer comes I won't give up Lord I won't give up I'll keep pressing on until my change comes please write your prayer request very quickly and submit them let's do it quickly please one minute everybody if you have the prayer request of of i understand that koinonia is being streamed live right now can we honor god for that yes it's been streamed live we appreciate the media for their creativity and for all our online people we love you the same power that is working here is the same power that will work everywhere you are in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so please quickly quickly please your prayer request listen for those of us who are just coming I I don't want you to think this is some ritual believe me God answers prayers here God gave us a revelation hallelujah and the revelation was the revelation of Hezekiah hallelujah when he took the threat letter and the bible says he put it before the lord and said lord behold their threatenings so please write it very quickly and then ushers let's be very fast please help some people with papers next time maybe from uh, maybe two or three months from now we'll try to create expectation cards so that you can expectation cards Leave her. John, leave her. Whatever she wants to do, just let her do. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please quickly. Your loved ones, please make sure the online community participate. There's a God that answers prayers here. Remember we spoke about faith. Those outside, ushers, help them. If I were you, I would begin to prophesy over my request and say i wrote you because you must live my life or you must come into my life Hallelujah. Now please begin to pass your request very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. My goodness. I tell you it's like a cloud that is heavy over this place. That's why I'm saying we should hurry up. We feel the rain of your love. We see the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. See the rain of your love, feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. So let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven?
please pass the prayer request very quickly once we start we're just going to move um let me encourage those who came with sick people or those who came for healing please make sure you get ready so that when it's time we'll just do that very very quickly hallelujah very quickly and then um, we'll be able to minister to people no matter what your condition is one of the things that we're going to be releasing today listen we had an encounter um, we just returned from Ekiti State it's a lovely place and um, listen something really happened as they picked us from the airport in Elorin to Ekiti we passed a small village please listen a small village the border between Kwara State and Ekiti State and I saw one of the most miraculous things in my life I saw the obituaries of people listen 132 years 120 years it's like nobody died except they were 100 and something and in my mind I was saying Guinness Book of Record has been lying to us for long and the, the interesting part of it listen is that the people they are not on glasses their dentitions are still exact they don't use crutches they are working firm one of them was a senior apostle that died last year 132 serving in the ministry alive and doing well when i saw those obituaries i said there must be a grace for longevity there, there is a covenant in this lineage that brings longevity and i told the guys i said when we're coming back we're stopping here you can trust me oh the law of honor as soon as we got there we stopped and we came out we went to the women they could not understand english please quickly with a request and we told them we said we're pastors we went to minister in equity and we're going back to the north but we discerned that there is a special anointing a strange grace for longevity and we want them to release upon us and then a lot of things happened that i may not say here and then they took us to one old man and the man just sat on his chair when we went they interpreted and they told him we came to receive that unction for longevity the man looked at us he said we should all kneel down and we got down on our knees and this guy began to pray and prophesy he's on record i'm sure maybe one of these days we played it was in yoruba i didn't care what he was saying Ejimi. all i know is that he was speaking a language and my spirit was receiving it this guy kept prophesying releasing that grace and that mantle upon that territory upon us i said that's right i knew that there's no mistake about this the moment we finished with him honored him so the seed into his life appreciated all the people we were on our way going back to the car and i felt in my spirit to go back and thank the women i went back to thank them and i saw a particular woman and they said this man 132 years this is his wife ah when they said that i said interpret for them that we came for and the woman looked at me they can bear me witness she just tapped me and said you follow her we followed her into a room she just opened the door and i saw pictures from one side to the other she started showing me the pictures i thought it was the wife of the man when he was in his old age you know like ketura that was the one and only woman he married that means that woman should be at least maybe 120 years or something alive these guys can bear me witness no glasses no crutches no nothing i said what kind of grace is this brothers and sisters there are mysteries you've heard me say this thing and when we finished before we finished talking we all got down on our knees and we told the woman she first started singing a song i don't know what it was i don't care what it was this woman spent like 10 minutes just letting it out from her spirit and do you know i was i don't know if i was sharing with them i felt as if they put a crown on my head that's how as i was feeling i knew i got this thing immediately she got it i told her i said let's snap i held her hands and we got to the place we'll show you the video and we snapped and i said i'm standing face to face with a woman 100 and something alive dentition complete 
can speak no glasses ah it was you i was thinking about i was happy to transport that grace brothers and sisters we brought it it must land on you tonight <laughs> hallelujah i i was just looking i was looking to empty everything i had I said, what kind of grace is this we went to minister in a university called Afe babalola university the man himself is 86 years alive and doing well in those regions if you are 80 years you are still a child believe me then when we were returning i saw the shock of my life 141 years one how many 41 i saw the obituary he just died 141 i said i got it let's see the devil that will manufacture himself from anywhere to come and take my life no see listen if you don't believe in transference of grace you will die young don't you ever think it was because of the food they are eating i didn't see any hospital around here i just saw a church and people is you can be 190 and not be able to talk but you are 141 the guy 132 was still serving as a man of god You are cooking by yourself and you died and left the wife the the mama tapped me in this place once you are 60 years you hold crutches what cause is that i always believed it but now that i've seen it ah there's that song that says my eyes have seen don't play it my eyes have seen it there are many strange things that will fall today listen if you care you can receive if you don't when we were coming we were in the plane and the plane was bouncing like a football i just remember that old woman i said plane you are joking i'm surrounded by too many mysteries please believe me hallelujah 86 years still a lecturer 89 years still a lecturer alive 100 and something years you see the women as if they are 50 something but some of them are in their 90s, 80s, 100s. That's grace, brothers. It's not about anybody praying for longevity. There is an anointing that comes upon territories. And tonight, in the course of the meeting, is when it's time to pray that, please receive it. We need to be alive to do a lot for the kingdom. Pray and say, Lord, my spirit is open to receive everything you have for me. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Why do we do this all the time? We do this because there are spirits, listen, that stand in the way of people's destinies. Don't think that deliverance is just something we do mechanically. I'm about to pray because there are people who came here. There are those who represent families altars that have tied the destinies of men down i'm going to pray i tell you i sense a heavy anointing please the moment that happens i like you not don't just fall and stand up begin to pray and receive and reject everything that is not of god father your word says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance it says there shall be holiness and it said the sons of jacob shall receive their possessions therefore i pray every spirit every altar every manipulation of darkness that is responsible for the tragedy in any man's life inside the first overflow second and third as you shout jesus like fire let it begin to land on people right now one two three I command those spirits right now right now my goodness my goodness inside outside like fire 
is coming upon people is coming upon people is coming upon people hallelujah the lord is giving me a very foolish instruction just lift your right hand that's what i hear right hand my goodness you don't need to shout just lift your right hand lift the drums just lift your right hand this don't mind me let me do my stupid thing the lord is giving me an instruction i see at least up to 33 people the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands the moment that happens i'm seeing like a stone being broken these are families altars in families lord according to your word right now at the count of three all the people and families involved i stretch my hands one two three let it happen right now right now right now right now right now just keep your right hand lifted shiba babakata altars 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 right now shake it it, 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 it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. in the name of the lord jesus bring them out those strange altars strange altars hallelujah lift your hands the lord is saying he is visiting fertility issues fertility issues barrenness whatever it is lift your hands at the count of three as you shout jesus anyone connected to you or anyone here under a spell of infertility at the count of three be broken one two three break 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 right now right now right now infertility there are some ladies feeling fire fire around your stomach fire around your womb fire around your womb fire around your womb is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking shake it is breaking hallelujah please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people here everything you touch dies in your hand lift your hands please no matter what it is if it's a relationship it dies jakatarata mandereto shota at the count of three let fire fall every cause of bad luck at the count of three shout jesus one two three go 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 right now those altars those altars right now everything your hand touches dies people come around to help you and they leave you it's changing right now it's changing right now it's changing right now hallelujah sisters lift your hands any stranger that visits you in dreams lift your hands speaking to you planting things the lord is giving this instruction every spirit husband just for ladies i tell you many people will be free right now at the count of three it's like fire that will fall on you lord let it fall every entity coming to oppress these people planting barrenness bad luck one two three take it take it take it take it let them go now inside and outside let them go now let them go now
now. Let them go now. Let them go now. My dear, tap that lady for me. Yes, that lady nodding. An angel is touching you. He's bringing a miracle for you right now. That's what I see. I see like cold sensation coming to your head. A miracle. And as it's happening to her, may it happen to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your hands and begin to pray over your request. Let it rain. Please pray. Go ahead and just prophesy and say, Lord, this marks the end of it. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. Pray, pray. Don't look at me. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we turn. Go ahead and pray. Lord, my request is turned into a testimony. I must testify by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Standing upon the eternal counsel of God, the hand of the Lord itself will bring this to pass. The burden is lifted in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? Let the ministry of angels begin to bring to pass every single request in this place. In the name of Jesus, we command the foundations of the earth. We command the firmaments. We command the waters to begin to align themselves towards the fulfillment of this request. We lift every body placed upon the shoulders of men by the anointing of God's spirit. And we set these ones free in the name of Jesus, mighty and everlasting God, standing upon your promise to us, upon this altar, the heavenly portals opened in this place. We command a performance of the requests, the desires placed here tonight. In the name of Jesus, we decree the heavens answer speedily. Everyone trusting you for the fruit of the womb, receive in the name of Jesus. Promotion from on high, receive in the name of Jesus. An end to demonic oppression. It happens now in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes open. Deaf ears open. Destinies moved forward. In the name of Jesus. Satanic burdens removed. In the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord because speedily, according to the seasons of life, they receive a performance. In the matchless name of Jesus we decree. Amen Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet and receive the prophecy you can. I saw a spirit and I'm praying for the students now. Please listen. When I was outside ministering, I saw a spirit like bees released to produce massive failures in the exam that is being written in the name that is above all names. I pray for everyone here. The kind of performance you have never seen, receive it in the name of Jesus. Shake it, Kappa. Shake it, the kind of performance I pray from the depth of my heart. The kind of performance you have never seen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for favor. Where you have labored and tried and it didn't work. Beginning from tonight. Step into a new dimension of favor. Step into a new dimension of favor. Every direction you have been praying 
and asking the Lord to give you between now and next Friday receive that direction receive that direction I want to pray for business people anyone in business lift your hands the strategy the strategy that you need to win in the name of Jesus receive it right now may it appear to you in dreams in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has died in your hands I command it to come back alive in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to pray for you father that old Baba prayed and released upon our lives the mantle of longevity 132 still alive I pray for you please receive it me too I received it from the depth of my heart Lord you know that I wanted this not for self but for the house at 70 you are still standing strong at 90 you are still moving strong until you get to 120 no devil takes your life in the name of Jesus hear me the force that immunes people from accidents comes upon your life right now the force that immunes people from terrorism and the wickedness it comes upon your life right now that spirit that kills people at the prime of their life when they labor and about to enter it takes their lives it leaves your life forever 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 hallelujah may you see your children's children to the fifth generation believe what i'm saying i've seen human beings bodily carrying this revelation you step into it in the name of jesus therefore anyone here that death is eyeing that you will not see the next miracle service or you will not see the end of this year i don't know how the plan is going on in the realm of the spirit but i avert it right now i avert it right now the same way you will live long physically everything that is good in your life lives long with you your health lives long with you your wisdom lives long with you faithful lives long with you two prayer points quickly where you have been rejected you step into a place i've experienced it oh let me tell you something hallelujah i will never forget you know jimmy knows the story in 2007 i remember that time i went to collect a loan from a bank remember the story i went to collect a loan from the bank we had done everything and then when it was now time for them to give me the loan they embarrassed me i was humiliated the same people who were helping me it was as if a charm came upon them and i looked at that person and i vowed that till i die till i go to be with the lord i will not collect loan from anybody living or dead i made that determination from the depth of my heart i said lord if you cannot honor me let me die like that i pray for someone here see listen if doors are closing against you is demonic don't ever say it's because i don't know so 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 bad. if if the person knew me it's a lie there is a man too the bible says everyone loved esther who looked at her like a garment you can wear it i pray that honor that brings receptivity receive it right now oh come on your amen is not loud enough receive it right now hallelujah the bible says you shall be as a delightsome land you know what a delightsome land is well desired in other words at any point you are seen you are invited i don't know who has disqualified you but i pray for you 
they may use your background they may use whatever let grace qualify you tonight let grace qualify you tonight koinonia i pray for you honor that you have never seen in your life from even people who can give birth to you begin to receive it strange honor in high places strange honor in high places in the name of jesus wave your hands and give god all the praise thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus whatever you have started listen something just came in my heart whatever you have started that ended prematurely because this what i'm there is an anointing for what i'm telling you whatever you start i don't care what it is whether it is relationship or whatever and it ended but not by god we put life back to it right now i say it again whatever you started that ended but not by god by a manipulation of darkness it jacks back to life right now in the name of jesus hallelujah give god praise my goodness i wish we had time i wish we had time i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.